Hey, what's going on guys? This is another little quick video about my iPad mini here and check out my other video full breakdown tear down how to get to this part and also watch my component video for backlight issues. But I'm going to be using a multimeter just to kind of show you guys what I got here and I got it on uh, uh, DC volts there um, and I got it on 20 right there and I'm not a multimeter expert but I'm just going to kind of show you guys what I'm experiencing here and if you guys know better than I do, please leave your comments in the description box so we can all help out each other and so that we can fix our iPad minis and save a lot of cash. That's the whole point. So, guys, I'm going to go ahead and um, now this is the only way I'm experiencing some action here is to be very careful. You want to kind of, you know, touch some other metal, you know, you want to be careful. You don't want to get a um, spark and short out any action here. So. I do have the iPad mini plugged into a power source, but the battery, of course, is up, as you can see here. But I got my lightning cable in the bottom here, um, so I'm getting power to it. So watch my multimeter here. I'm going to ground my black one here to the metal railing, and then I'm going to touch my backlight fuse, which is the very itty bitty 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 one in the middle right there. Watch my other video. I show a magnifying glass, so uh, you can see it a little bit better. But... I'm going to touch that now, guys, and watch my multimeter. Okay, right there, we jumped pretty good. Okay, see that? We got some good action, some good, uh, some good action. Now, if I put both of them on there very carefully, I don't register anything, but look at my other backlight chip, right? So, I got like nothing coming out of that. Okay, so it might be the chip. My filter fuse might be okay, but look at this. See, it might be my chip. That point one doesn't really matter. That's just kind of the action in the air. So, again, guys, holler at me in the comments below if you guys think this is definitely my backlight chip here because I am getting again action let me do it again on my backlight fuse I'm grounding it with the black touching it with the red see we got some action 3 point 4 point 10 point 3 point 1 point you know so we definitely got some action there alrighty guys again that was just a quick video showing you a little bit of activity there and so guys if again I have another video where I use magnifying glass I show you a little bit more up close and personal with those chips Let's see if I can get a little action there. There we go. Whoops. There we go there. And so, guys, again, I have another video showing you a little bit more up close and personal look at these chips. But what we're looking at is we're looking at that one right there. And we're looking at the one right in the middle of a set of three right here, guys. Again, be careful. Make sure that you don't get any sparks and short out your motherboard if you're doing this. Ground it to something first to uh, get that connectivity through. And then check it out, guys. Be careful. And again, I have all these links in the description box for these fuses. You can read more about them, multimeter, et cetera, et cetera, if you guys are into it. Um, so check out those links in the description box below. And please, uh, we're all here to help out each other, save some cash. So uh, holler at me, let me know what's up, and uh, drop a line if you uh, know a little bit more than I do. I appreciate it, guys, or a lot more than I do. <laughs> Take care. Bye-bye.